Well, good evening, Texoma. Happy New Year. Hopefully you've been enjoying this first day of 2024. Now, over this next week or so, the first full week of the new year, we're going to have a parade of upper level lows moving throughout our region. Three of those to be exact. The first one arriving by Tuesday night, more of a southerly track with this first upper level low, bringing some scattered showers along and south of the Red River. That will move east quickly right on time for our next upper level low to make its way on in northern track with this one. So we'll get more of a widespread chance for some just plain old cold Cold rain for Thursday night in towards the day on Friday, possibly Friday night too. As that next upper level low moves out, they could have a pretty impressive winter storm in the northeast United States, but we'll contend with another chance for another upper level low and more chances for some widespread rainfall by Monday of next week. Now we'll go region specific here, showing those scattered showers by around Tuesday evening, just along and south of the Red River. Everything moves out by the time we're waking up Wednesday morning. The clouds clear Thursday, but come right on back in for Friday. So as soon as Friday morning, we're dealing with widespread rain chances all the way throughout the entire day. Eventually by early Saturday, all this rain will be moving out of here and then we have a relatively dry day for Sunday before another round of rain comes on in more widespread chances for rain all the way throughout the entire day. So around an inch to maybe upwards of an inch and a quarter of rainfall will fall over the next several days, pretty much over the next week. So we'll certainly take that because we're still dealing with drought conditions. We ended 2020 three around nine inches below where we are supposed to be for our yearly rainfall, and that's why we're dealing still with severe drought conditions for portions of our region. Other locations are lucky. They are no longer in drought, but if we don't get any significant rainfall, that drought will slowly start to come back. We'll be talking more about this in that parade of upper level lows coming up tonight on K10.